good morning dear students welcome to online classes and the last part of the chapter harappan civilization dear students today we will cover these topics in our chapter origin of civilization discovery of harappan sites features of urban planning a houses b trade ways and measurements b art and craft then decline of civilization and the last heritage now we will start with the origin of civilization when we will study about the origin of civilization then we will get the information that there are several theories as to the origin of indus valley civilization or the harappan valley civilization these can be divided into two groups foreign origin and the indigenous origin foreign origin some scholars believe that the civilization came into existence as a result of a sudden migration of people with an urban civilization to the indus basin according to these scholars the harappan civilization was an offshoot to the mesopotamian civilization this theory has been rejected on the ground that no evidence of trade with mesopotamia during the early period has been found indigenous origin the recent researches show that roots of harappan civilization lie deep in the soil of india according to some historians the harappan culture was only an outgrowth of the extensive local village cultures and not of foreign origin historians found some marked similarities between the pre-harappan and proto-harappan cultures at kot dg amri and kalibangan in terms of granary defensive walls and long distance trade in these settlements from this historians concluded that harappan civilization evolved from these agriculture communities now we will study about the discovery of harappan sites first harappa was discovered by mr dayaram sahani in the year 1921 number 2 mohan jodaro was discovered by mr r d benerji in the year 1922 chahan hudura was discovered by mr n g mazumdar in the year 1931 fourth kali bangan was discovered by mr b b lal and a n ghosh in the year 1953 kot dg was discovered by mr fazal ahmed khan in the year 1955 in the year 1957 lothal was discovered by mr s r rao in the sequence in the year 1972 mr j p joshi had discovered sur kotada and the last dholavira was discovered by mr r s bisht in the year 1990 91 now we will study about features of urban planning the most striking feature of the harappan civilization is its urban planning the main characteristics of town planning were the following each city was divided into two parts the raised area called the citadel and the lower town citadel owed its height to the buildings which were constructed on mud brick platforms the lower town had the residential buildings 
where the people lived and worked. The main street follow a grid pattern running from north, north to south or from east to west. The houses at a street corners were rounded to allow carts to pass easily. Houses, drains emptied all wastewater into the street drains. Now we will about study about houses in the Indus cities or Harappan civilization. Wealthy Indus Valley families lived in a comfortable houses built around courtyards. Stairs led to a flat roof where there was extra space to work and relax. Although there was not much furniture, the homes had wells for water and bathroom with pipes that carried waste into the main drains. Some even had toilets which were the first in the world. Cleanliness was obviously important to the Indus Valley people. Bathing may have played an important part in religious rituals. The kitchen was placed in a sheltered corner of the courtyard and the ground floor contained storerooms and well chambers. The houses were made of brick and wood. Each, houses, each house had doors, windows and ventilators. Doors and windows opened on the side of the streets and not on the main roads. Now we will study about trade in the Harappan civilization. Trade. The Indus people were greatly reliant on trade. They traded with many different civilizations like Persia, Mesopotamia and China. They were also known to trade in Arabian Gulf region, central parts of Asia, portions of Afghanistan and northwestern India. Some goods that were traded were terracotta pots, beads, gold, silver, colored gems like turquoise, lapis, metals, flints, seashells and pearls. These were the history of trade of Harappan civilization. Next point is weight and measures. The knowledge of a script must have helped the recording of private property and accounts keeping. Numerous articles used for weights have been found. They show that in weighing mostly 16 or its multiples were used for instance 16, 64, 160, 320 and 640. The Harappan also knew the art of measurement. The measures of length were based upon a foot of 13.2 inches and a cubit of 20.6 inches. Several sticks inscribed with measure marks. One of these made of bronze have been discovered. This is all from weights and measures. Now we will study about transport in the time of Harappan civilization. There are so many evidences about the use of transports in Harappan civilization. Several representation of ships were found on seals at Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. A terracotta model of a ship was discovered from Lothal pointing to use of ships. 
boards were also used to carry goods from production centers to cities copper or bronze models of carts with seated drivers were also found from harappa and chahandoro carts were used in those days resemble the modern ekka horse cart now we will study about art and craft all the works of harappan art including figure of clay and terracotta stone and bronze sculptures seals and beads are product of skill craftsmen sculpture the harappan artists were skilled sculptors a large number of stone images have been found among these the statue of bearded man found in mohanjodaro is uh, is really well known you have you are watching that bearded man's picture on your screen also the bronze statue of dancing girl figure of animals buffalo and rams a large number of male and female figures have been also found the sculpture may in metal was done through the special lost wax process now ornaments ornaments were worn by both men and women example necklace finger rings bangles armlets anklets nose rings fan shaped shaped headdresses and earrings toy and amusements Harappan people played games had many other forms of entertainment such as dice hunting fishing as toys they were having toys of birds animals whistles were also made to play and entertain the Harappan peoples now decline of civilization many historians do not believe in the aryan invasion theory they believe the main cause of sudden decline is climate change huge climate change or natural calamities might have been a cause of the ruin of the harappan civilization the harappan civilization declined sometime around 1800 bc some of the likely causes for the decline are flood and earthquake increased aridity deforestation and attack now we will start with flood and earthquakes it is held by some scholars that floods in mohenjodaro led to the abandonment of this this settlement they have inferred this from the fact that the houses and the streets at mohanjodaro were found covered with slitty clay left by flood waters which had submerged the streets and houses according to a famous hydrologist r l wakes such flooding could not be the result of a normal flooding in the river indus earthquakes might have raised the level of the flood plains of the indus river second point is increased aridity according to renowned historians d p agrawal and sooth the harappan civilization declined because of increasing aridity in the area the drying up of the river khagra the ecological disturbance caused by the increased aridity shift in the drainage pattern to res decline the harappan civilization next point is deforestation since indus valley civilization was a bronze age culture enormous quantities of wood was needed to produce bronze wood was also needed to produce jewelry to bake bricks pottery stoneware 
and to make boards and furniture. This could have led to the deforestation leading to the climate change in the region. Some historians like Wheeler believe that the invading irons destroyed the Indus settlement. This, that's why some of the historians believe in the next point also that decline of the Harappan civilization was also because of the attack of the invaders. Now we will study the Harappan civilization as heritage. The decline of physical aspects of the Harappan civilization didn't lead to the total disappearance of the all trades of the civilization. Its features were found in the letters, letter cultural developments such as way of making big pottery, bricks, beads, jewelry, textiles, etc. In the religious spheres, the worship of Pashushpati, Shiva and female deity as mother goddess, religious symbols and other things etc. which were prevalent during the Harappan period were adopted later Hinduism and some of them have continued to this day. This shows the relation of Harappan civilization to the current India. Students, today we have covered these topics, origin of civilization, discovery of urban sites, features of urban planning, decline of civilization and heritage. In our next video class, we will start the next chapter, the Vedic period. Till then, have a nice day.